Alright guys, so uh, just got done watching an absolutely epic volleyball match of women's hardcore uh, between the United States team and the Chinese team. Um, this was a very, very, very good match. Even though, uh, even though China went down on, in straight sets, and if you just look at the set count, anybody that didn't see it, yeah, USA dominated that event, but you got to give credit to China because the score, like I said, they dropped in straight sets, but the score was uh, you go to 25, win by two. Um, and the actual point count was 26-24 uh, in the first set, 25-16 in the second set, and 31-29 in the third set. Um, it's the best three out of five. Um, now, like I said, you can say whatever you want. Yes, China did drop in straight sets, but one thing that I'm big on is congratulating the competitor and the opponents on a game well fought, especially if they did fight hard. Um, and China just wasn't going away. Um, that second set, they kind of lost a little bit, but that third set, they just weren't going down. I mean, um, China would come back, and then USA would come back, and then... Um, and it would look like China had the advantage, and then uh, USA would come back, and then uh, USA would have it 26-25, and then China would make it 26-all, and then 27-26, and then 27-all, 28-27, and so on and so forth. But finally, it was uh, Hodge, Megan Hodge, uh, stepping up for her team and for her country, as she had been this entire match, um, and uh, getting the victory. For the USA, with just a stellar performance. Um, congratulations to the USA. Obviously, as an American, that makes me very proud that we didn't give up and that we continued to fight in that third set to get the sweep. But like I said, give credit to China because this is all about the spirit of competition, and China just was not going away. They gave it everything that they had, plus more. Um, just wasn't enough on this day. <coughs> but. Um, certainly feels good to beat them, the team that we're currently tied with in the medal count, um, uh, the country that we're currently tied with in the medal count, but like I said, I'm not really one to rub, when it comes to the NFL, I'll talk shit all day, but I can't, I can't talk shit in the Olympics, I can't do it, it's, uh, it's too big of a stage, it means too much to all of these nations that are here, um, you got to give credit to every one of them uh, for fighting hard and um, not giving up. Like I said, the NFL, I'll talk shit on the Giants all day, but I, I can't talk shit about China or any other country in the Olympics just because of what the Olympics means and what it stands for. I have that much respect to just take the win and leave it as a win. I'm not going to rub it in. I don't feel the need to. The win speaks for itself. Um, like I said, China wouldn't give up, but we won against a team that wouldn't give up. It's not like we beat a team that just went in there and laid down and let us beat them. They weren't quitting. They weren't going away. Um, but like I said, eventually the USA did get the job done, and once again we're proving that that we belong here. Um, China and the United States going into this game uh, both were undefeated in women's hard court. Uh, obviously you knew by the end of the day one of them had to have a loss, and uh, then ended up being China. So as of right now, uh, the women's hard court team for USA is uh, still currently unbeaten. So that's definitely nice. Um, there's everything going on in the Olympics right now. We're doing a lot of things right. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of mistakes from the USA right now. Um, in any events that I've been following, um, the events that I follow mostly are um, the pool events, um, diving, synchronized diving and all the swimming events and then uh, gymnastics and uh, volleyball whether it be hardcore or beach um, is mainly what I follow. I'll check in on the other sports but as far as what I actually follow like oh this is on I'm gonna watch it I'm gonna sit down and watch it um, that's the major things that I actually sit down and watch but um, 
USA proving once again and it's not over. We still got another week and a half to go with this. This is, uh, let's see, Sunday, Monday, day four of the London Olympics and uh, USA looking very strong right now, uh, as is China. So um, we'll see what happens. But right now, certainly, uh, definitely proud uh, to live in this great country, uh, represented well by the uh, women's hardcore team today. So uh, we will continue watching and uh, see if um, any of our teams can't bring us some more glory and honor to this country. But um, for right now, I'm going to get out of here. Congratulations again to uh, Team USA Women's Hardcore Team on a valiant effort and a hard-fought performance and a hard-fought win against uh, the undefeated Chinese team. And congratulations to them on remaining undefeated. And like I said, congratulations to China as well for a hard-fought game and not going away. But that's all I got, and uh, I'm going to get out of here. Peace.